<laughs> Welcome back to Good Day. <laughs> you'll, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll, you'll be, be fine. Okay, so <laughs> most of us don't think twice about it. The weather turns cold, we reach into our closet and pull out a warm coat. Well, some Toledo families can't do that, but there is help. Susie Perry of Susie's Coats to the rescue. Good morning. Thanks for being Good here today. Morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Again this year. Yes, absolutely. So you were here with us last year, yes. right? And we learned your story, which was really something special with what you have now done with your life. But for people who may, may not remember, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my mother was a single mom raising four children um, with a cardiac issue. We were displaced and homeless. She tried her best to care for us, but it was a struggle for her. And then um, when I was in seventh or eighth grade, I was placed in foster care simply because my mom couldn't provide for us. Mm -hmm. And so fast forward, I wanted to do something to honor her. She passed away at a very young age of 47 mm -hmm. from that illness. And in honoring her, I want to help every single parent or caregiver who is in need of winter apparel to take that cost of winter gear out of the equation for them and honor my mom at the same mm -hmm. time. Wonderful. <laughs> it is. It <laughs> is. Just, just a beautiful story. Uh, so Susie, it's Susie's coats, but yeah. we see hats and gloves here as yeah. well. And also yeah. socks. <gasps> Tell oh, us about yes, that. Yes, <laughs> we have really good news. We acquired, merged with Hannah Socks officially in July of this year. And we have 30 coat closets set up throughout Northwest Ohio where we have been providing 50 new uh, coats, mm -hmm. 25, 25 boys, 25 girls, hats and gloves. And now we can provide them with socks. Wonderful. So it's been wonderful since um, we acquired Hannah's. We have provided 81,000 pairs of socks to our community. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And um, last year at this time, we had 10 coat closets, and now we have 30 mm -hmm. throughout Northwest Ohio. That's huge. So you're, you're growing, but it also suggests that there is a need in our community. And we know today, we're looking at the temperature, and mm -hmm. we are there. It is time for this warm or cold weather gear. season yeah. and the gear that we need. So tell us, you've got something coming up this weekend, right? Yes, we do. It's our 17th annual coat distribution. And at that event, we usually have between seven and 800 children that we provide for. Every child receives a new coat, a hat, gloves, socks. We have several other nonprofits there this year, bags of love. So our children will be receiving um, toys, games, dental hygiene, personal hygiene. The Toledo Fire Department is there. They'll be providing smoke detectors. Let's Build will be there so families can register for a new bed with bedding for their children. Mm -hmm. Another nonprofit will be there, Build the Children, providing pajamas and undergarments. So we're really providing for our children from head to toe. Yes. We were joking about coming up with a jingle, and I'm going to make you responsible for that. Oh, yeah. I think we already have one, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. You, you all have it covered already. So it's just, it's wonderful to see, and Susie, your story, uh, it, it just is so heartfelt. And, and for you to be able to see these young people uh, who are in need mm -hmm. uh, get now socks, gloves, hats, mm -hmm. scarves, a coat for the winter. Uh, what does that do for you? And you've been doing it uh, for 17 years. Yes, it's very heartwarming, especially oftentimes when the children come to our event. It's the first item of new apparel they've ever had. And we all know that the cost of winter gear is so expensive. So we look for sales. We have lots of wonderful shoppers. It's very heartwarming to see the kids come in. They are provided with a shopping experience in a safe, dignified setting. Every family is greeted by a volunteer with a shopping bag, and they're really cute. They have mm -hmm. snowmen or little puppies on them, and they help them navigate through the gymnasium um, full of wonderful items for them. Also, the Shoe Shack will be there this year as well, providing new and gently used shoes for our families. Wow, so yeah, they head, shoulders, knees, and toes. toes. They're, they're, <laughs> they're covered in every way. And some of this looks I'm handmade. Look, I'm oh, looking yes. at knitting and crocheting, yeah. Stephen. Is this handmade? <laughs> it is, and so often, individuals want to know how they can help. Mm -hmm. And these wonderful homemade mm -hmm. um, hats and gloves our children just love because mm -hmm. they're multicolored and yes. they're soft and warm and cozy. So um, when people donate yarn, we have a a set of uh, a group of knitters that mm -hmm. will make those for us. So, so fun. I need to learn who they are so that we can have them on <laughs> yeah. our knit along this week that are you know coming up in the f in the future. Uh, you know. As Steven said, it's just got to warm your heart to see th these kids. Um, but coming from that experience, what do you think it means to them to be able to go mm. in and go shopping? I can tell you firsthand that having a warm coat for me when I was a child, I felt safer. Mm -hmm. 
And when I felt safer, I was much more hopeful about my tomorrow. And that's the, tri the mission that we have um, on our annual distribution day. And we still provide garments and winter gear throughout the entire winter. So it's so much fun and now we can provide sacks as well. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, love Thank that. So uh, tell us again about the event and uh, can people uh, help out in any way? Yes, they can. Um, our event is this Friday. I'm sorry, that was wrong. <laughs> I told you I would do that. It's all right, it's all right. Um, our distribution is Saturday, November Saturday. 4th, Jones Leadership Academy at the mm -hmm. corner of Nebraska and Collingwood. Doors will open at nine through noon and families will have a nice shopping experience and how people can help is we have an Amazon wish list that makes it nice and easy. Those items come directly to us. Mm -hmm. They can hold a sock coat, hat, glove collection effort. They can knit these wonderful things. Yeah. They can shop at the local discount stores where something is $1.25 mm -hmm. and they're nice and warm and cozy for mm -hmm. our children and we're happy to pick those up. Wonderful. And do people need to register on sat for anything on Saturday no. or just show up? Nope, they just need to show up. Okay. Um, we do not require any documentation of financial need. We give freely. Um, children do, however, need to be present to receive items. Otherwise, if children are ill or unable to attend, they just need to provide documentation that they have children. Okay. So one. Fair enough. Wow. wow. That's great. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much you so for much. all that you have done to give no. back to the community. It, we appreciate it. Thank you for being honor. here today. <laughs> my honor. Thanks for having you me. You bet. You did Thank great. You. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. she, she did. You did an awesome <laughs>